Okay. Back again. And where we left off was in GLIBC, uh, section 5.7 GLIBC 219. Okay, so we ran our make, make install. And should have no errors. As you see here, tail end should look something like this. Okay. And it says here at this point it is imperative to stop and ensure that the basic function is compiling and linking up the tool chain uh, are working as expected. Perform the sanity check, issue the following commands. So let's go ahead and we'll say echo main into dummy.c and we'll say dollar sign lfs underscore target dash gcc dummy.c and read elf l a dot out and we'll grep for tools okay and you should get something that looks like this. Now, um, 32 bit, you should get something that looks more like this up here. Okay, but for 64 bit, you should get this. If you got nothing at all, you have some serious problems. You try to reinstall GCC. Um, that might fix it. I don't know. But actually starting over again may not be a bad idea. So, we want to remove a dot out dummy dot c, and now we have to install the uh, lib standard C plus plus version uh, four eight two. Remove glibc. Okay, it should take about two minutes. Clear. Say tar xf gcc 482. And here, <coughs> lib, lib standard C is part of the GCC sources. You should first unpack the GCC tar ball and extract the GCC 482 directory. change to the 482 directory. No biggie. So basically we're uh, we're extracting the GCC parball. And hence um, this is why it's important not to delete anything not to delete any tarballs before you're done this could be a problem and you don't want the problems <laughs> and if you do delete anything and, and I, I do I'll probably delete a few while I'm here screw up a couple times um, don't forget you um, you always have stuff over here in your package directory so I just go ahead and like copy packages whatever I say for GCC I'd copy that over and uh problem averted so well problem solved but um that's that and the g or the lib standard c library isn't really that bad as far as configure goes um let's jump into that now cd and the gcc it says here we had to make parent for both GCC C build directory GCC build and let's say GCC 482 lib standard C version 3 configure host equals 
Assign LFS underscore target. Prefix equals dollar sign or prefix equals tools. Disable multi lib. Disable shared. Disable NLS. Disable lib standard C. XX threads. And this is another convention to instead of popping new lines everywhere, you can just keep going. Let's see, lib s standard c xx dash p ch and I'll say with g xx include der equals tools dollar sign lfs underscore target include c plus plus Point 8.2. Let's check and see if that came out here. Disable NLS. Lib standard CXX threads. Disable lib standard CXS PXS. PCH. Would DXX include dir equals tools? Okay. Let's see. It's another thing. Um, <clears throat> you can pop new lines everywhere if you want. But to me, it seems like it makes it. Uh, I don't know. In the older LFS books, they used to string them out, how I did in that last segment. Um, and then the, I noticed in 6.8 on up, they start to uh, just put them vertically. And vice versa, it's, it's really up to the user, I guess. Vertically. Okay, on the configure should look something like that. Vertically, you really don't have to, um, you can, uh, you can check, you can take points and, you know, check and see if everything is right. And in a horizontal fashion, I don't know, but this is actually how it gets viewed out anyway. New lines get ignored, I just all throw them together like that, so. It's totally up to you. Alright, so now we can say make and make install. These really don't take that long. But, um, Vertically or horizontally, it's, eh, it's really your call. I actually like to do them horizontally more because <clears throat> it seems like I, I don't really have to flip back and forth so much, which is a plus. Which is a plus, especially when you have a, a split window like this, you don't, um, you're really uh, flipping screens trying to uh, pull down the rest of the information. But really difference. Now we really don't get too much input about what certain things do at this stage. Um, we do have stuff like you know this here host indicates that they use cross compiler just built instead of the one in the user bin. Blah blah. blah. We really don't get too much output on what is actually. We get, we get quite a bit, but we don't get 
as much as in the next chapter. The next chapter is really going to go in depth and really tell you exactly what's going on step by step um, when we're actually installing the uh, system. So this is all part of the tool chain. And um, that's pretty much it. All right, make make installs done. Now I can jump back up, and I'm going to remove GCC build and GCC 482 directory. So in the next chapter, it'll get really elaborate and it'll really tell us exactly what's going on. We'll, we'll know um, what packages belong to certain programs, or what programs belong to certain packages, etc. Okay, Torx VO, bin utils. Okay. You'll find out stuff like find, the find command actually is in find utils and grep and sed and all that stuff is a part of, uh, is it a part of core utils? Nah, awk is it part of core utils? Nah. Change directory, present working directory, stuff like that is all a part of core utils, which is a package we'll install later on. Um, it's definitely a lot to be learned. A lot to be learned. A very, very cool project. Make directory. Propose. Bin utils. We'll say build. And CD backup in the bin utils build. Okay, and we have the pair of compilations, so we'll say cc equals dollar sign lfs underscore target dash gcc. I'm just going to string these out. Actually, sugar vertical with this. ar is equal to dollar sign lfs underscore target dash ar. Ran lib equal to dollar sign LFS underscore target dash ran lib that's good and we'll say bin utils say configure prefix equals tools disable NLS with lib path equals tools. So I'm gonna clear that up. Screw that up a little bit. Bin utils configure prefix equals tools. Disable NLS with lib path equals tools lib with sysroot. Okay. Good. We'll pull this down. It looks like that's it. 1.1 SBU, so it should be about 10 minutes, something like that. I string this together and say make, make, install. Make and make, install. And pass to 7.1 SBUs. It's a good chunk. Alright, so I'll uh, let this go through and we'll pick it back up and we'll do the make, uh, make our linker clean. Uh, that's what we'll do. Alright, so I'll catch you in the next one.